Hello and welcome back to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, this is the part 4 of the decision model notations work. In this episode, we are going to explore how to use field functions inside a DMN. Once we define a field function, how to define a decision using literal expression and this field function. We will use the same example which takes two input parameters age and credit rating and gives the decision as approved or rejected describing either to reject or approve the loan application based on the values provided for age and credit rating input parameters. While defining this DMN, we will look at how to define a field function and how to use that field function within the decision element inside the DMN. So without further ado, let us look at this example. Open the Cosito Business Modeler preview. Click on Create New Decision Model. Give the name for the decision. Let's create the DMN with two input parameters. Let's define the data types of each of these input parameters. Let us define the field function using this DMN business knowledge model. Let us create a decision element. And provide the two input parameters age and credit rating to this decision element and this decision element would use the decision function, the field function that we are about to create. So link that field function to the decision element. Use this create DMN knowledge requirement and link it to the decision element. Let's define this decision function. Click on edit. Define the data type that this decision function returns. Define the input parameters for this decision function. Define the data types for each of these input parameters. So we have defined the two input parameters age and credit rating for this decision function. Now let's create the logic for this decision function. Clear the existing logic, right click on click on clear. Click on the select expression 
and you will be able to prompt it with various options from where you can choose one of the option to create the logic for this decision function. I will be using the simplest one, the decision table. Define the names for the input parameters. and their corresponding data types. Age is one of the input parameter that we have defined and this one is the output class. So, you will have to define the output class. We need one more input parameter. So, right click on age and insert right. One more input class will get created and give the name for the second input parameter. and define the data type appropriately. So, we are defining a function in which we are using a decision table to define the logic inside the function. The function is using field function. So, we define the logic for our field function, the decision function by using the decision table. It is having two input parameters age and credit rating and one input output and one output parameter decision. So, the age and credit rating input parameters are supplied to final decision and this final decision decision element is using the function that we have defined here. So, let us make this final decision element to use the function that we have defined here. Select the final decision decision element and click on edit. Select the expression as literal expression using which we will be able to invoke the decision function which we have defined. Let us define the data type for the final decision. We are invoking the function decision function which we have defined, passing the input parameters age and credit rating. So, using a literal expression, we are invoking this function decision function that we have defined while defining this decision element final decision. So, this is how we are able to create a DMN using two input parameters age and credit rating and we have defined a field function as with the name as and we have defined the field function with the name as decision function 
inside which we use the decision table for creating the logic of this function. And this function is being used by the decision node inside the final decision. We have used literal expression for defining the final decision decision node and using this line of code we are able to invoke the decision function that we have created. Let us test this DML. So the input, so the input parameters age and credit rating. So when we pass the age and credit rating input parameters values, these values are supplied to final decision and from inside final decision we are invoking the function decision function and passing these input parameter values and we are able to get the output that we have defined inside the decision table present as part of the decision function. So this is how you will be able to use literal expressions and field functions while defining your DMN.